This is Colin McGuigan for IFL TV, delighted to be joined by John Cooney in Dublin, Ireland. John, this is probably the biggest opportunity of your life, would you say, yeah? Yeah, 100% it is, yeah. I'm looking forward to taking it with two hands. In terms of this fight, the platform, what it could do for your career going forward, do the nerves get put to one side until you make that ring walk and maybe it'll come in then, or is that not even entering your head at this time? I don't get nervous. What, what would you be nervous for? If you're not in boxing for this big stage, you're not you're not in boxing for the right reasons. I look, every, every fighter's going to have a little bit of nerves going into a ring for a fight, do you know what I mean? But I'm not nervous. I'm taking this in my stride. This is where I'm meant to be and this is where I'm going to stay. So. Liam Gaynor, tough, durable opponent, someone who is going to come to win and that's the type of fight that I think that you, you need and you want because it brings out the best in you. With Liam Gaynor, what does he bring to the table and what do you need to be mindful of on Saturday night? Like you said, he's quite durable. He's been in a few good 50-50s. He's shown he can kind of dig deep and all the rest of it, but in my opinion, he's never been in with a fighter like me that punches like me. I'm a full-blown super featherweight and he's going to know when we're in the ring Saturday night and I'm landing clean shots on him that it's a different ball game and I expect to get him out of there. I expect to do a number on him, to be honest. Is this your time to make a statement in front of Eddie Hearn, in front of Matchroom, put Liam Gaynor out of there in a, a, a dominating performance and say, I, I'm staying on because Eddie has said before, winner stays on on these shows. Exactly. We, you know, that's a well-known thing, winner stays on and all that. All that doesn't matter to me. Do you know what I mean? I, I need to do a number on him because if I'm as good as I say I am or as good as I think I am, or I'm going to go to the places I say I'm going to go, then I need to be beating people like Liam Gaynor. I'm well. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the 130-pound division on notice. Do you know, the, I, if you ask me, the 130-pound division domestically is wide open. And Saturday night, I'm going to put my name in there as one of the best there. What does the next 12 months look like for you? I mean, obviously, you're hungry, John. You seem as if you're very focused. What does the next 12 months look like career-wise? Big, big. By the, end of by the end of next year, I wouldn't be surprised if I was touching European level. To be honest, I, I want a British title. Like The problem is, is the politics side of things. Will I get the British title shot before the end of next year? Hopefully, but hopefully politically, I can. And if I can, I'll win it. Do you know what I mean? Is Liam Dillian there, British champion? Does Reese Pilotti there, Commonwealth champion? I'm happy to fight the two of them next year. Obviously, if I can get them fights is another thing, do you know what I mean? But yeah, I, I expect a big year next year, big year. Last one from me before the weigh-in starts. Katie Taylor, Chantel Cameron, give me your prediction. How does that go? I hope and feel like Katie can do it this time. It is a tough ask. Katie's not getting any younger. You know, but I feel like last time out, she wasn't fully herself. I feel like the loss will have given her the hunger to come back. So I'm hoping and praying she can get the win. John Cooney, thanks for your time. Look forward to, to speaking with you after your victorious on Saturday night, mate. I see. Good man. Thank you very much.